Her name was Teresa, and she helped support her family by selling bracelets. How old are you? I'm the Kamsana. And uh, she's uh, 11 years old. Okay. Teresa lived at the oasis with her family in a traditional Bedouin tent. You usually did How many pieces you want? Um, I'm going to get um, two. Oh, two. Pick up two. Five. 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 <laughs> What's she saying? She said it's, uh, it costs five pounds. Okay. This, this one is I good? thought five pounds was yeah. a little steep, but she was quite sweet, so I didn't mind giving it to her. Yeah. Look at the way she tied her <laughs> hair. Thank you, that's perfect. Say shukran. Shukran. <laughs> See, this way is, uh, it's called Ayn uh, Hadra. And the name actually, some people call it uh, Ayn Khodra, and some people call it Ayn uh, Hodra. And what does it mean, do you know? An Ayn, it means uh, a spring. So Ayn Hodra, it means the spring of uh, Hodra. The people that live here, of course, the, uh, the traditional or the typical Sinai Bedouins, they enjoy, uh, they, they cultivate uh, some of uh, uh, plants here for eat, uh, plus the goats that they have here. Then this is it. Hanny had arranged for us to spend the night with one of the local Bedouin. Actually, uh, about um, eight tribes uh, of Bedouins uh, live here. Each each of the tribe has uh, its own leader, mainly in the coastline. Some of them uh, just deep down the deserts. One of the local Bedouins was kind enough to invite us to his home for tea. Salam alaikum. <laughs> his name was Ali. He was a little better off than the other Bedouin we spent the night with. He not only had a house by the sea, but one in town as well. Is this your house, Ellie? Yeah. So he's going to make us some tea. Thank you. How about Hannah? So we have a fire right here in the house. Oh, yeah, he makes the fire out of the wood. And you have the herbs in there right now? No, just, uh, just the water. Just the water. Have you always lived in this village? Yeah, he lives here regularly and sometimes, uh, occasionally, uh, they drop by uh, Sharm Sheikh and other towns. Uh, oh! <laughs> uh, here's our little goats. Oh. <laughs> So three, three days. Three, no. 
Do you live here with your whole family? Yeah. Yeah? Well, it's me now with uh, my family, mommy, father. Right. But you all live here in the village? I have uh, another house in Dahab. Oh, in Dahab. I have a house in Dahab. Oh, really? Yeah. But she take another woman. Right. Yeah. He's, uh, he has another uh, uh, a woman uh, he's married to. Oh, yes? In Dahab. Yes, so he has two houses, actually. So this is your summer home, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> tea is a very social event for the Bedouin. Every time someone enters the house, they offer you tea. That's yeah. Ooh, sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Yeah. Yes, it's tasty. It's beautiful. Oh, I think the goat wants some. Taste it? Oh, I was going to wait for you guys. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Uh, Benun House, they offer you coffee or tea. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, they keep uh, making a, a coffee or a tea uh, until you say shukran or you stop. And, and then they have they have this, um, you know, special habit. Uh, if you want more, you just, right. uh, you know, put it like this. Uh, that means you want more right. coffee or tea. Yeah. And if you don't want... Uh, anymore you just you just you know, give shake. it a little shake yeah you shake your glass that means uh, you don't I've had want enough more and you say shukran thank you for having us in your home ali i was very moved by the hospitality of ali and the others in the village 